Hey guys, how you going? Ethan from Cardspot here. This is our first video on our channel. Uh, so, I thought what better way to kick it off than opening a couple of boxes of Burst of Destiny, which you can see here. So, obviously this is the most uh, eagerly anticipated set of the year with such cards as Destroy Phoenix Enforcer in there, but also the Sword Souls and Flow Wanderers. So, two new pretty um, important archetypes that could shift the meta a wee bit. So I thought, you know, let's get it started the right way with a couple of boxes of Burst of Destiny. So pick these up. Um, they are obviously first edition, still sealed. Um, I did actually open a couple of boxes yesterday just for off camera for a bit of fun. And I can show you what I pulled in there at the end, but I'm excited to get into these. So let's kick it off. Okay, so I've just moved one box to the side for now so that we can actually see this first box. Um, so obviously with Burst, let's get this open here. Um, <clears throat> we're looking for, as I mentioned, Destroy Phoenix Enforcer because I think everyone and their mother is going to be wanting one of those. Um, additionally, obviously the new Ecclesia. Uh, what is that? Incredible Ecclesia the Virtuous. Um, because obviously that's needed for Sword Soul and uh owl bears i think um and then there's starlights i'll take a starlight if we could have you know uh stratos or um starlight ecclesia i would take that as well so this is uh this is us here so we've got a nice little compact booster box there so i'm just going to shift that over to the side there so we can see what we're doing let's get into the first pack so are you guys excited for this set? Um, I know I definitely was. It's um, probably the most excited for a set that I've been since getting back into the game, um, which was earlier this year. And I've been really enjoying it, having some fun. A lot of um, GOAT format enjoyment for me. So let's see what we've got. So we've got Undaunted Bumpkin Beast, Feng Li the Soldier Pon, Penguin Squire, B Trooper Landing, and... Borrowload Riot Dragon, an Ultra in the first pack. Um, so I don't think that's very good, to be honest. Uh, it's a ritual, so probably not. And then we've got, I'll put that up there, DD Assault Carrier, Foot Frozen, Brave Drive, and Osarctic Drytron. So what's the deal with making uh, the Osarctics and Drytrons like the same archetype? What's up with that? I don't really get what's going on there. Anyway, let's leave that guy up. He can go up there for now with the pulls. Let's get on to the next pack. Let's see what we've got in pack number two. So good start. Ultra in the first pack. We'll take that. So let's see what we've got here. So we've got Starry Knight, Orbit Tail, Night Flight, Reptilian Nayami, Abyss Keeper, and Branded in red and a Despia spell card. Okay, it's all right. Check the supers up there. Sword Soul Assessment, Danger, Disturbance, Disorder, Apex, Predation, and Gunkin Ship, Gunkin Su Ship, Shirao Class Carrier. Gunkin just reminds me of Star Wars with the Gungans, right? It's, uh, it's interesting. All right, next pack. Should probably speed this up a little bit since we do have. Two full boxes to get through. Oh, destroyed that pack. It's okay. So we got Heritage of the Light, Magicky Locking, Penguin Ninja, Fingley the Soldier Pom, and Heavy Interlock. Another super. That one is for Borrowloads. We got Ice Jade Acti, Reptilian Recoil, Brave Drive, and Flow Underies, and Token. So. I think a lot of the Flawandry stuff is um, is lower rarity, which is kind of nice. So I think that depth should be reasonably cheap, apart from obviously like Flawandry is an M pin, which is secret, and Snarl, which is also secret. Um, and then the map, the, the field spell is ultra, I think. Outstanding dog, Mary. Someone someone come get your dog. Uh, Mimicking Man Eater Bug. Royal Penguin's Garden. B Trooper Landing. And. Oh, flow under reason M pen. We were just talking about it. A nice secret rare. That is awesome. Let's uh, sleeve this bad boy up. So 
that's obviously the sneak peek promo as well, but it's quite important for the Flowunderies archetype. There we go. Nice looking card. Good centering as well, which is nice. Put that over there with our foils. I'll take that. The rest of the commons we had were Laundry Trap, Magnificent Magic E, Mateo, Flip Frozen, and a Soul Roller. That's nice. I think uh, M Pen is worth a decent chunk at the moment on pre orders anyway. I think it was around $40 US. Um, obviously, I might be talking different pricing because there is New Zealand pricing, um, but I will try and go with US pricing since that's sort of what everyone understands. Uh, Penguin Squire. Abyss Keeper, Cyanet Crosswipe, Gunkin Suship Uni, and Meowth's Click. <laughs> okay, I have not seen that card before, that's kind of funny. Uh, Reptilian Recoil, Ice Jade Acti, Detonation Code, and Giant Starfall. Alright, onwards. Let's see what we got in this. Alright, Gemini's Lord, Gold Knight. Flawanderies and Stry, Penguin Ninja, Royal Penguin's Garden, and I stayed Cradle. Well, I see a from your deck to your hand with a different name from the cards you control in your group. It's not bad. Bit of a, just kind of a rotor. And we got Threshold Ball, Gunkin Sushup Shirao, Sarctic Dryton, and Bee Trooper Squad. There's a lot of Bee Trooper support in this. It's really kind of made Bee Troopers a. Uh, a bit more of a full deck now, which is kind of cool. I know a lot of people are excited to see what that deck can uh, do with enduring support. And obviously a Quago Hercules reprint would be nice. Uh, Undaunted Bumpkin Beast, Magic E Locking, Be True for Landing, Sword Soul Blackout, and... Ooh, nice! Evil Twins Trouble Sunny. That's another really good ultra, I think. Pre-orders for those, I think, have that at about 35 US at the moment. Obviously, we can expect all the pre-order prices to go down a wee bit. Um, but that's really cool. Let's get that in a sleeve. Those people out there trying to make an evil live twin deck. So we've got two ultras and one secret so far. And then the other commons, Night Sword Serpent, Rebuild Deer, Gunkin Suship, and Ice Jade Tenola. Let's get those commons out of the way. All right, as we are approaching completion on this left side, let's carry on. What do we got? We got Mary again, the dog. Uh, Abyss Keeper, Penguin Cleric, Royal Penguin's Garden, and Brandon High Spirits. We go, and then Apex Predation, Magic Battle, Magical Cylinders, and Flip Frozen. It's Magical Cylinders, like Magic Cylinder at all? I wonder. All right. The fun doesn't end. Okay. Reptilian Niami. Gemini's Lord Gold Knight, Night Flight, oh no, I've screwed it up there. It's a Sonic Cascade, Magic Key Fiend, Transfill Mine, uh, another Osarctic Drytron, Break the Destiny, Sioux Ship, and Night Sword Serpent there. At least it was only a super. If we have to stuff it up, at least it's only a super. All right, next pack. Okay, Mimicking Man Eater Bug, Trans Sonic Bird, Penguin Ninja, Sonic Crosswipe, and... Oh, yes! <laughs> we got him, ladies and gentlemen. Destiny Hero, Destroyer, Phoenix, Enforcer. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. This is, this is the, this is the pull you want. A $150 card. I'm going to get this sleeved straight away, um, at least on pre-sale. It was going for 150 US. That is an amazing pull. That is, let's take a look at that a bit closer up. That's really nice. Uh, that is awesome. I'm, I'm stoked with that. Destroy Phoenix and Forza. We will take that all day. Oh, hell yeah. So that is four foils for us now. Uh, Lord Your Trap, Fly Under Reason, Token, Magical Songs, and Brave Drive. Man, Destroy Phoenix and Forza. I am so stoked with that. That is awesome. Uh, I'm really glad that we got that in the boxes that we were recording because, as I say, I did open a couple of boxes yesterday um, and did not get Destroy Phoenix and Forza. So I will take him today. That is awesome. Look at him just chilling over there. He needs to be on camera more. Destroy Phoenix and Forza. Nice. All right, let's get into some more packs. 
Coatl, Sonic Tracker, Penguin Squire, Magic Locking, and another Brandon in red there. Uh, Tanola stuff or Soul Roller and Soul Carrier. Um, so that's both our secrets off the same right side of the box. Interesting. I don't know if these boxes are mappable, but that's intriguing. We can see how we go with the second box, I guess. Okay, Penguin Cleric. Finley the Sold Upon. Sonic Crusade, Abyss Keeper, and Ramifications. It's cool. Reptilian Recoil, Danger Disturbance Disorder, Magic League Battle, and Sword Soul. Um, okay, so we are halfway through the first box. Uh, so let's... I have to speed things up because I am talking too much. <laughs> but Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. I mean, jeez. How can you not love that? Many to bug. Fingley the Soldier Palm, Royal Penguin's Garden, Sonic Tracker, and Supernatural Danger Zone, which I think is a terrible card, if I recall correctly. Um, not a whole lot in that pack, but that's okay. So we should be due uh, two more Ultras, I think, roughly. The ratios are uh, four Ultras, two Secrets, at least. That's what I got from my boxes yesterday, so if we can keep those same ratios, I'll be pretty happy with that. Okay, Transonic Bird, Penguin Cleric, Cross Swipe, oh, what have we got here? Ultra B Trooper, Absolute Hercules, nice. That is a, wow, that, look at that card. That is really, I'm lost for words, that's awesome artwork, like that is so cool. Um, I don't know that this is going to be a great card, I don't think it's going to be worth very much. Um... I think it's more of like a super poly target for if you're going against B Troopers. Um, but still, we will take it. I mean, hey, we got Destroy Phoenix and Forza, so I can't really be too mad with what else we get. Uh, and those are the other comments out of that pack. So we've got one more Ultra to go. And we've still got plenty of packs, so it's not uh, super evenly... Oh, what is this? Um, not super evenly distributed, but that's okay. Alright, what have we got in here? A Penguin Squire, Undaunted Bumpkin Beast, Coaddle, Starry Knight, Orbitale, and Flounderies. Oh, okay, I'm just going to throw the cards away. Flounderies and the Scary Sea. Haven't got that one yet. Um, Regal Deer, Starfall, and Threshold Ball. Okay. Jeez, I'm still on that high from Destroy Phoenix and Force. I like. Jeez. I will take that all day. Alright, what do we got next? Tillion Naomi, Sonic Trekker, Transonic Bird, Penguin Ninja, and Double Structure Dragon. I think that's rocket support, right? Yeah. Uh, Cyclic Dryton, Sword Soul Assessment, Generation Code, Break the Destiny. So I think the other, there's a couple of good supers to get in this set. Um, I think uh, the Destiny Hero one, I can't remember what his name is at the moment, uh, is pretty good. And as you see, he's kind of not super common. Um, we haven't pulled one yet. I think I only got three out of two boxes yesterday, so. Uh, Gunkin Sushi Uni, Gemini's Lord Gold Knight, Heritage of the Light, Abyss Keeper, and Ad Libitum of Despia. Just a super there. Um, and then we've got Maftiel, Assault Carrier, Laundry Trap, and Rebel Deer. Alright. Soldiering on. To the next pack. What do we got here? Penguin Cloak, Sinic Cascade, Floundries and Stry, Mary, and a Sunvine Sewing. Sunvine's actually any good. Has anyone ever played a Sunvine deck uh, and won anything? Or am I just a fool? Um, because I, I don't see the appeal of Sunvine. Alright. Another man eater bug. Uh, Transonic Bird, Penguin Cleric, Sonic Crosswipe, and. Ooh, Machina Ruin Force. Okay, we'll take it. I mean, we already got Destroy Phoenix and Forces, so we can't really complain. I've got a friend of mine who's after these, so he'll be happy with that. Let's sleeve another one up. Nice. Uh, and the other comments for this. Uh, those ones there. Uh, who cares? Who cares about comments? We're here for the foils like Phoenix Enforcer. Okay. 
next pack. So theoretically now, it should all just be supers, unless, unless, the star logo. But probably not, but unless. Anyway, Gunkin Suship Uni, Cyanet Cascade, Detriever Landing, Cuba Pitch, and Melusine, Melusine? Uh, Assault Roller, Night Sword Serpent, Flying Reason Token, and B Trooper Squad. Squad! Alright, I think we've got four packs, including this one, left. We are nearing the end of our adventure. Swords All Blackout, Flying Reason Stry, Starry Night Orbital, Transonic Bird, and Ultimate Flagship Ursatron. That's one of those Ursarctic Drytron mashups. Uh, Mathiel, Brave Drive, Assault Carrier, and Laundry Trap. Wait. That is actually Laundry Trap. Okay. There's a Dragon Maid card. Kind of. Kind of looks like it. Oh, good. Onwards. Three packs left as we count down. Maybe the uh, Starlight in the last pack. Who knows? Um, Magic Locking. Fing Lee, the Soldier Pom. Reptilian Coatl. Heritage of Light and a double disrupt the dragon again for that rocket support Apex Predation Rebuild Air, Suship and Tenola. Okay, two packs left. Uh, oh, I butchered that pack. There we go. We got another Mary. Sonic Tracker. Tillian Naomi, Flandre is in Stry, and the Supernatural Danger Zone. And then those guys. You never know, we could get an error box, right? And get uh, something amazing. But last pack. Here we go. Some last pack magic coming our way, perhaps. Cascade, Night Flight. I'm just going to fix that guy up. Orbital, Cupid Pitch, and the Sword Soul. Uh, Auspice, Chunjun, uh, Flip Frozen, Magic -y Battle, Break the Destiny, and Acti. Okay, so that's the first box, which, hey, <laughs> what a good box. I will take that. Um, so now, let's get set up for the second one. All right, box number two, as you can see here, still nicely sealed. I'm just going to see if I can rip the plastic there. Very nice. Oh, my gosh. There we go. The struggle is real. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe next time I'll invest in some scissors, but for now, we're doing it the caveman way. Let's get rid of that plastic. All right. So this is my fourth and final box of Burst of Destiny that I'm opening. Um, well, I shouldn't say final, but for now it's final. Um, so we got, again, two nice halves there. I reckon we'll start off on the left side this time, just because we started on the right side last time. Okay, let's get right into it. So, I mean, geez, how do we beat the last box? Let's see. It's Penguin Squire, B Trooper Landing, Orbital, and Flanderies, and the Unexplored Winds. That's fine. Break the Destiny, Laundry Trap, Salt Carrier, and Flip Frozen. Onwards. So... Obviously, the last box was pretty amazing. Destroy Phoenix before, so I mean, Jesus, that's what everyone's after, so I will gladly take that. Uh, Night Flight, Niami, Abyss Keeper, and Sword Soul Emergence. Add one Sword Soul monster from your deck to hand, and if you control a Synchro monster, you can add one Worm monster instead. If this card is banished, you can target one Sword Soul monster or Worm monster you control, increase or decrease this level by one. I think this is really good. I think this is a, a good card for Sword Soul. So um, I'm happy with that. That's probably a good Ultra to get. Um, I'm not sure of how much that was going for exactly. Rebuild here at the Threshold Ball. Uh, but I'll take it. Um, it's not bad. It's better than Machina stuff and probably B Trooper Fusions. So probably one of the better ultras we've pulled so far oh yeah because we also got the borrel borrel something dragon magic -y locking penguin ninja Bingley the soldier palm and bayonet pasha yeah just that's not great ultras that we got in that last box um i think only the evil twin was really a decent ultra 
probably will have a bit of value. Uh, but definitely, obviously, the secret saved us in pen and in pen and destroy Phoenix Enforcer, so I can't complain there. Uh, Mimicking Man in a Bug, Penguin's Garden, B Trooper Landing, Squire, and Melusine. Melusine. Uh, those are the comments there. Alright, let's see what else we can get. I've never owned a uh, Starlight or Collector's Rare, so you know, I wouldn't be against pulling one here in this lovely video. And this Keeper, Sonic Crosswipe, Gunkin Ship Thing, and Flandries and the Dreaming Town. Nice. You can probably build a Flandries deck. I've got an M Pen, I've got a lot of supers. Yeah, maybe. Um, I was tempted to build Sword Soul because obviously they're kind of like new best deck, but she's they're gonna be expensive. <laughs> uh, Stry Ninja, Royal Penguin's Garden, Man Eater Bug, and Sword Soul Sacred Summit. Find a reason token, magical cylinders, Math Deal, and Flip Frozen. It's a shame some of the imports weren't better in this set. Uh, the OCG imports they were a lot of them were really bad. Um, and as I record this, uh, the leaks for Gold Series have just come out. Um, so if you guys haven't seen them yet, have a search around online. See what you think. In fact, let me know what you think about it in the comments. There we go. Um, Magic Key Spirit Vipatu. Uh, apparently someone opened two boxes, I think. Didn't get a whole lot. Um, there wasn't too much excitingness. Um, but there is an alternate art uh, rescue cat printing, which it looks adorable. So I definitely recommend having a look at that. And obviously, we all know rescue cat has needed a reprint for a long time. Uh, Keeper pitch, many debug, orbit tail, ninja. Oh, Flanderies and Eaglin. Haven't actually seen that one before. I don't think. Denola Mafia or Brave Driver Ball. Um, so it could be some interesting stuff coming out of Gold Series. I just realised. We didn't sleep up our sword soul boy. There we go. Don't want anything happening to you, mate. You can chill out over there. So this side of the box, so definitely left side of the box seems to have a lot more foils, which is interesting. Um, so far we're only one foil in. Fingley, Kotal, Mary, Squire. Oh no, there we go. Rocket Calibre. I don't think that's a great ultra. Um, but hey, it is what it is. He can go over there, squad, stuff or battle and break this knee. We'll take it. Uh, I, I'll take any foil, but I don't think that's one of the ones we're after so much. I am running out of sleeves here. I just grabbed a chunk. Let me just grab another chunk. We're back. Onwards on the left side of the box. So two ultras, no secrets, which is interesting because I recall both our secrets were on the right side of the box. In that last box. Stry, Cleric, Orbitail, I feel like it's always those. Cascade and Ad Libitum. Salt Carrier, Night Sword Serpent. So it might be worth uh, for future videos. I may even like shuffle the packs around so that we don't really know what we're gonna get. I don't know how many of these kind of videos I do. Um, I will probably do a lot of collection opening because I do get a lot of collections in. Um, but if you like pack openings, you can look at doing that too. Sunvine Sewing. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Uh, feel free to drop a like on it if you are. Um, and subscribe to the channel. That really helps as well. Obviously, we're just doing it for a bit of fun. For the love of Yu-Gi-Oh! But hey, any extra support we can get is always appreciated. Um, you can also follow me on uh, at CardspotNZ on Instagram. If you want to keep up with the Instagram posts. Royal Penguin Garden, Sonic Crosswipe. Golnut, Flandries and Stry, Ice Jade Cradle. So two Ultras on that side of the box. Very interesting. So this right side is where you want to be. So if you're at Locals and they're like, hey, pick your prize pack, you want to be like, yeah, give me that right side of the box. Um, one would hope that they've shuffled the packs up though. Blackout, Stry, Transonic Bird, Magic Key Locking, and Sword Soul Strategist Long Juan. No, Long Yuan. Oh, I wasn't far off. That's a really nice looking card. Let's check out the artwork on that guy. He is cool. So it's kind of cool. They're all worm um, type, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and those are the comments there. Let's get a sleeve for this dude. Got a nice gold sleeve now. Moving on 
from the clear to the gold. Um, we'll take that. I think that's probably a lot better of an ultra than what we've had so far from this pack, uh, from this box. Let's carry on. Still one to two secrets. I've been pretty lucky with two secrets in every box um, of Burst that I've opened so far, which has been nice. Quartal, Heritage of Light, Sonic Tracker, Niami, and Ice Jade Cradle. There we go. Oh, if you want to see those commons there. Um, so we've probably got, what, about 10 packs left here. Let's see what we got. Cascade, Night Flight, Cupid Pitch. The artwork on Cupid Pitch doesn't look like a Yu-Gi-Oh card to me. Does anyone else think that? I think it just looks like generic kind of manga character or something. Um, so it's all tire. Just a super. Cylinders, Bee Trooper, Flip Frozen, and Toppin. I mean, it's fun. I'm all for Yu-Gi-Oh diversifying uh, their art styles. We've seen that a little bit with the Evil Twin archetype um, and some of that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, it's just interesting to see. It'd be cool if they did a thing like Pokemon where they named the artists on the card. That'd be nice. Bee Trooper Landing, Sword Soul Blackout, Abyss Keeper, Cleric, and... Oh, ho, ho, an Ecclesia. <laughs> Damn, this shit just gets better. That shit bussin'. I will take that, an Ecclesia. Let's get that sleeved up. Wowee. The two best secret rares in the set, an Ecclesia and a Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. Far out. Let's just take a look at this. That is really nice. Oh, that's a nice looking card. The starlight for this looks really nice too, but we will take that. Wow. <laughs> that's all I can say. Wow. Um, comments there. I'm a, I'm a happy boy. Two, two really good secrets there. Ecclesia and Destroy Phoenix and Forza. All right. And we still have one secret and one ultra to go, potentially, assuming we're getting two secrets from this box again. Um, Transonic Bird, Niami, Uni, Night Flight, and Brandon High Spirits. Yeah, I'll take that. I will very much take that. Maybe I will build Sword Song <laughs> now that I forgot. Oh dear. This is really going to be interesting to see how this pack changes the meta because, um, or how this set rather. Because, oh god, Sword Soul should do a lot, um, Florinda Rees could do a lot, uh, and we might even see some other things changing up a little bit, who knows. Heroes maybe with Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, Bayonet Punisher, and some commons there. Alright, I think we have about six packs left there by the looks. Let's get in here, see what we've got in the next one. Oh jeez, butchered that, but it's okay. We escaped. Sonic Crosswipe, Bumpkin Beast, Sonic Tracker, Sorts of Blackout, and Wanderies, and the Dreaming Town. Having a whole town dreaming sounds a little bit stressful. Doesn't sound like they'd be getting much done. Just saying. All right, onwards. Oh geez, a whole stack of packs just went flying. Alright, uh, what do we got in here? Oh, oh no. Borrow Code Dragon. Okay, I thought it was the ritual for a second, just how it looked. Um, okay, there's our other ultra. I don't know if this is great. What does it do? Link 3 cannot be destroyed by card effects while a link monster points to it. You can only use each of the following effects once per turn. Start of the damage step before it's linked, summoned using three monsters. You can destroy monsters on the field. Uh, you can banish the card from the graveyard, banish one dark monster with 3,000 more attack from the field, and if you do, special summon one topological monster. Yeah, interesting. I don't know if that's actually any good for a borrow load deck, um, but hey, it's cool. I like new cards, and I like to, to read them, so I'll take it. We'll chuck him in a sleevey boy there. All right, so we've got, how many packs have we got left? I'm just gonna get rid of the box. Sorry, box. You can go away. So we've got one, two, three, four packs left. Let's chuck them over there. All right. 
Abyss Keeper, Pumpkin Beast, Cuba Pitch, Night Flight, and Flamandries, and the Unexplored Winds. So we've got one secret rare left, hopefully, based off all the other three boxes that I've opened. There should be two secrets in here. I mean, hey, we've already got the Ecclesia, so I can't really complain, but... I mean, if they're going to give me another one, I'll take it. Blackout, Man Eater Bug, Heritage of Light, Niami, and Meows Click. Cyclic Drytron, Fondries and Token, and those guys. Two packs left. Let's see, will it be in this pack? Or will it be Last Pack Magic? Cardinal, Squire, Cupid Pitch, Nightfly, Oi, Sword Soul of Moye. I think that's also a really good secret. <laughs> that's awesome. Some really good Sword Soul cards there. That is a nice looking card. Jeez. Yeah, that's really nice. If this is normal special summon, reveal one from your hand. Special summon a token. Well, the token's in the monster zone. Uh, the player who summoned it cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. If this is sent to the graveyard as secret material, you can draw a card. Ah, this is the draw one. Yeah, that is really, really nice. Uh, let's leave that guy up straight away. Get it in the nice, oh, in the nice golden sleeve there. Pachow. There we go. All right. Four uh, the commons. There, those ones boring. Who cares? We got a foil sword saw. Um, Okay. One pack. Is this going to be the Starlight? I think the Starlight replaces the Secret Rare, so probably not. But, you know, could be some last pack magic. Who knows? Magic Locking. Sword Soul Blackout. Gemini's Lord Gold Knight. Orbitao and a Melusine. That's fine. And there's the comments there. Whew. What a two cup. What? What am I saying? What a couple of boxes. So we've got a whole bunch of, of supers there, but what do we care about? Well, okay, so let's have a look at our pulls. So we got Machina Ruin Force, or M Machina, Machina, however you say it, Ruin Force. We've got the Sword Soul Strategist Long Yuan. We've got Rocket Caliber, Borrelode Riot Dragon, Sword Soul Emergence. The Ultra B Trooper Absolute Hercules. I still love the look of that card. Boral Code Dragon. And Evil Twins Trouble Sunny. I think that rounds out the Ultras. Then Ecclesia. Ecclesia. Look at it. <laughs> that is so cool. The, the uh, incredible Ecclesia the Virtuous. We got the Sword Soul of Mo Ye. We got... Flowanderies and Mpen, ignore that, it's just something on the sleeve. And Destiny Hero, Destroyer, Phoenix Enforcer. This is amazing, guys. I am so hyped for this card. Just look at this card. It is beautiful. Stunning card. And just ignore all the imperfections because that's all on the sleeve. That card is just absolutely what a stunner um if you're interested oh i nearly dropped it uh in what i got yesterday from the boxes that i didn't record i have those foils here too i got another ecclesia so <laughs> two from four boxes i'll take it uh so two ecclesias and a destroy phoenix enforcer from from four boxes is is really good uh we got another flow under reason m pen a flow under reason snail Ice Jade Tremora, uh, Trouble Sunny, B Trooper Descent, Flanderies and the Magnificent Map times two, a Rocket Caliber, a Ruin Force, a Heavy B Trooper Mighty Neptune, and a Light Flapper. So those were what we got. So some really nice Ultras there, and some even nicer secrets. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think of this video. This is my first ever pack opening video. Uh, obviously, Burst of Destiny, everyone's excited for. So let me know what card you're most looking for in Burst of Destiny. It's probably Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, but if it's not, uh, that's great too. I'd love to, to hear that. Um, drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe. 
and maybe I'll see you for some more pack openings soon. I know there's a new uh, Duelist pack kind of thing that's come out, or some more collection openings. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.